got the final decision on the hard drives. I went ahead and decided to go with the Samsung B NAND SSD 850 EVO series. There is the uh, the 250 gigabyte drive. There is the 500 gigabyte version and the one terabyte. So I'm gonna put all three of these drives in this Mac right here. And we are gonna have the, uh, the one terabyte here. This one's gonna go for the operating system and all the applications and such. So plugins. Um, and then the 500 gigabyte right here is going to be uh, my scratch disk that I'm just gonna put files on to work on them real quick and then transfer them over to my uh, archives drive, which is a spinning drive. And then the 250 uh, version is going to be for my render files. So I'll render my uh, After Effects or Premiere Pro projects onto this and then I can either just uh, trash them or I can move them along with the file onto my archive disks. I should probably get a different tool. There is the disk itself. Wow, all oh, that's like packaging that makes it so heavy. I thought it was the disk. Now I want to weigh this and see how much it is. One and five eighths of an ounce. I do have the directions on um, how to migrate the OSX in your data to a new drive. So I'm going to put the link below. Today we're going to go from the, the, the uh, Western Digital Boot Drive that I had installed earlier before this one. And so uh, we're going to go from, from SSD to SSD. Let's wait to unbox these other two because I, I want to get this one going. So we'll go ahead and install this one. This is the other drive uh, bracket. You've already seen that before, but it's the Mount Pro. A 2.5 drive sled for 2009 to 2012 Mac Pro models. So we're gonna get the operating system on there first. Then we'll worry about uh, these two because I'm still waiting for the final piece to come in in the mail here in just a little bit this afternoon the last piece of the puzzle here. It's OWC's Mercury Excelsior S. Add a 2.5 SATA drive to your Mac or PC. Bring full 6G performance to your Mac or PC. Mercury Excelsior S is the simple plug and play solution to bring high speed 6G SATA to any system with a PCIe X4 slot. Works with uh, any PCIe slot equipped Mac, PC, or enclosure. OSX 10.6 or later, Windows Vista or later. Let's see that one looks. Make sure the power is off. Disconnect all peripherals. Here is the card. Oh, yes. So we're going to take our drive, our operating system drive, and we are going to install it on this. That's the Western Digital we're going to take back. I meant to format that, but we didn't do that. So, okay, here is the one terabyte okay so this is our boot drive love the mat everything just falls on there it's nice and soft that's great we're going to take the drive here and we're going to match it up with this plug right there. So basically, I think we're just gonna go ahead and slide that right in there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty, pretty smooth. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna put it down on the ground here so it can get a nice. All right, that looks good. That looks really good. All right, there we go. And we gotta get back in here and move these screws. All right, we're gonna take this plate out right here now. We're gonna take this card and line it up with the holes. This one's pretty darn easy. Now we're gonna do 500 gig. There is the 500 gig. Same. There is the 250. This is the 500 gigs. This is my this is my scratch disc. We're gonna put that one right in here. 
should label it too. Let's go ahead and do the next one. This is the Samsung 250 for the render files. Snug it. And we are almost there, man. This is so easy. It's an easy upgrade. Now, let's go ahead and slide this one right in there. Just label a couple of things real quick. All three of these Samsung EVO 850s in the Mac. Three killer drives in one Mac. Let's go ahead and shut this up and turn it on. The disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is initialize, so it's pretty darn easy. Click erase. We're going to name the drive Mac OS Extended. That's done. Process complete. So we're here where it says to install. So I selected the drive, the Samsung SSD 850 EVO, one terabyte media boot drive. That's that one. And I'm going to click install. All right, here we go. This is a, my first time doing a fresh install since I bought the machine. So it was long overdue. So we'll see how it goes. I hope it goes well. It's time to select the information to transfer. So it did find some conflicts, but I can't seem to, I don't know how to find them here. So I wish it would show you like this little, um, that little yellow, um, caution sign there but it doesn't show otherwise I'd probably figure out if I should untick it say so we're, we're done with that okay it says transferring your system settings so we got those installed so let's go ahead and do a boot up test we are gonna go straight to um, the login screen hey guys let me know how long it takes for your machine to start Okay, I'm not sure how long that was compared to the Western Digital. I'm gonna go from login to the memory. As soon as it comes up right here. There it is, boom. So I don't know how long that took, but that was pretty quick, I think. So now we're at where these need to be initialized. So let's go ahead and initialize these disks. So you just click here. So initialize, and we are looking for definitely not that one. We don't want to do that one. We want to do the 500. We are going to name it. We're going to format it in the OSX Extended Journalized, and this GUI partition map is fine because we're not going to do any of that. All right, just make sure you're doing the right one and you're not doing your, your boot drive. So we're going to erase that one. We're going to format it, and then the last thing before we're out of there, we're going to go ahead and run first aid on it. There we go. That's done. All right, now that one's ready to use. And then we're gonna do the same with the 250. So this is the Samsung SSD 850 EVA 250 GB. You wanna make sure you do the right one. Just double, triple, read it. And then this one also, we're gonna be Samsung. Once again, Mac OS Extended Journalized. I'm gonna hit that. We are going to quit that, and then we're gonna run a first aid on it real quick. And we're done there. So now, our drives are initialized. Okay, so anyway, we're there. Now we are going to do the Premiere Pro. And one, two, three. Boom, we're there. 
And the last one we're gonna do, Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud. Okay, and one, two, three. Boom, there it is. There we go. I don't know where that was, but I can't wait to see. Just look at the results. The Western Digital 7200 RPM disk drive, one terabyte, that was my original drive. And then I installed the Western Digital WD PC SSD, one terabyte uh, in the previous episode. And so we have those two results there. The final hard drive that I went with, which was the Samsung BNAND 850 EVO SSD, one terabyte. Time to boot with the Samsung EVO, 59 seconds to boot up now. The time to log in from 19.3 to 4.8 seconds. Are you kidding me? Now this one's weird, which is the time to start the Adobe Premiere Pro. PC SSD, 32 seconds. The Samsung BNAND only came in at 31.2 seconds. It's faster, but you'll never notice that. This is where it gets really interesting. The time to start Adobe After Effects. On the Western Digital 7200 RPM drive, we're talking four and a half minutes. Oh my God, to load, that's crazy. Now look at this. This is just, blows my mind. The Samsung BNAND, came in at 51.9 seconds. That is a huge success. I would recommend that you guys do it too. And, and I have to say that after all of this time, I've been using the system for a month. I've only had like two or three crashes. I used to have like 10 or 15 a day because of spinning drives. Uh, you couldn't scrub through the timeline without the darn thing crashing. My system is incredibly rock solid now. Ditch your spinning drives, set it up like I have here, and you will never have to deal with hardly ever a crash again. So thanks for watching this episode of Unbox Licks. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Uh, hit the like button and leave a comment. Until next time, peace.